Glory be to God. What a day the Lord has made, and we are to rejoice and be glad in it. I'd like you to invite your friends to join us now. I want to talk about you know, how to stop bad things from happening to you. Because uh, there are so many Christians that don't really understand how things work. How do you stop bad things? From happening to you there are some that your life just appears to be one bad thing from the other things are always going on contrary to what they want to see in their lives why do bad things happen to you as a child of God who is the culprit how do you pray? how do you make sure your life is constantly good news and good things always happening you know it's possible it's possible for you to go through this life and experiencing good all the time and making sure that bad things does not happen. Remember, God is not the originator of anything evil. Let us pray. Father, speak to us. We, we have come because we want to experience continuous victory and not defeat in our lives. Help us to understand this word of yours that helps us to Go to the place of our destiny. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Amen. John chapter 10, verse 10 says, The thief comes, except the thief come, the, the thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and destroy. And Jesus said, But I have come that you may have life. And have life more abundantly. I throw the question out again. Why do bad things happen to you? Why? Why can't your life be marked with goodness of God? The abundance life. The life of joy, peace, ease, prosperity. Why do bad things have to happen? Is that God's plan for you? The Bible tells us in 29th chapter of Jeremiah verse 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, say the Lord. The plans of God to prosper you. Not of disaster, not of bad things to happen to you, but why do bad things happen to you? Look around your life and those that you know. See, bad things happen to people because the devil, of course, is out to steal, to kill and destroy. But we Christians or humans basically must understand and, all, and, and appropriate the redemption that has been accomplished for us by our Lord Jesus Christ. And to resist the devil's thoughts and works. Because if you don't resist the devil's thoughts and works, bad things will happen to you. I'll say it again. If you do not resist the devil's thoughts and works, bad things will happen to you. So, unless you appropriate, you understand and appropriate the redemption that is has been accomplished by our Lord Jesus Christ and resist the devil's thoughts and works, bad things will happen. But let me go in, let me go more in detail into this. See, God cannot be blamed for any bad things that happens in your life. Because one we know God, he, he has provided a way, a way for all people, regardless of where they are, to come to him. I mean, protected from the devil's tactics and attacks. You know, it's like, it's like you are drowning and God has thrown a life um, preserver. But if you choose not to receive his life preserver and use it, then you cannot blame God if you drown. So, we have to learn by observing the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ as a heaven's perfect representation. You know, that bad things do not come from God. So God is not the originator of bad things that happens to people. 
One, he fed multitude, you know, he healed the sick, he rebuked the deadly storm that tried to hurt people's lives, and he loved people. Not once did he do anything to hurt anyone. So you must establish that. You must establish very clearly that God, our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, is not responsible for the bad things that happens in your life. I was talking to somebody some time ago. I said, they said that God makes them sick so they can learn something. So I said, if God is making you sick, why are you praying for sickness to go? You'll be praying against God's will. If it's God's will for you to be sick, then don't pray. If it's God's will for you to to have what you go bad things in your life then why ask god to give you good things in your life because god is not the originator god does not desire bad things to happen to anyone and it and is not responsible for any bad things that happen then who is responsible that's the question so if god is not responsible who is responsible now you <laughs> you the truth is that you are responsible that's right. You are. The devil is behind all the evil that happens, but, but he cannot operate without your cooperation. The devil cannot operate in your life, in your affairs, in your family, in your finances, in your health, without your cooperation. You know, remember that, that you as a human, you have authority on earth, and it is only through our wrong choices wrong words that allows that evil is allowed to operate on this earth sadly enough most of most christians really do not understand this as clearly as they should have so many have often repeat things like for instance i might say uh, the lord gave it the lord take it that's not true the lord doesn't take nothing from us you know that is ignorant of the truth of course, that is in the Bible. Job said, because, but Job never understood that what was happening to him. Job chapter 2 verse 7. Job did not know that what was happening in his trial, you know, like, like we read, the bad things happening to him, you know, was the result of what Satan was doing. But remember, Job spoke it as went to existence. Job had been so afraid of bad things happening to him. Job said, the things I fear the most has happened to me. So many people have been making wrong choices and fear in their life and bad things are happening and they are not sure why. But you are the culprit. I mean you, you watching me right now, you're responsible. But I'm going to show you how to get out of that, out of that lifestyle. Why are some Christians just going from one bad thing to the other? Always something, always something happening. You are responsible. Stop blaming the devil. Because when you start blaming the devil, you don't do what you need to do. And then you are passing the buck. And by doing that, you don't get bad things out of your life. Bad things happen to people because they turn away from God. Rejecting his ways, rejecting his love, rejecting his loving way. You know, many times people don't understand this. When you fall for the devil's lies, when you fall for the devil's life and turn, turn against God, the only way to stop bad things from happening is for you to turn back to God by speaking His word. Bad things happen on earth because humans have allowed the devil and his ideas to take place here. When Jesus said, let your kingdom come, you know, is a pronouncement of allowing the rule of God to take pre to, to take a high place on this universe so you cannot blame the devil because you have the free will to choose what you do you can choose to do right and resist the devil and this devil's temptations to make wrong choices and you will experience good things in your life you know, unless you decide to give the devil a place in your life it cannot do anything in your life and on this earth Bible says Jesus Christ has redeemed us by his blood, defeated the devil for us, and he gave us authority to stop him through his name. So, when bad things happen in your home, check out your thought life. Check out your word. Check out your choices. Because your choices determine 
Your decision determines your future. Your choices determine what happens to you. And the people of this world, of course, they are ignorant and they are, they are in darkness. And they say things and do things that give the enemy place in their life. But you as a child of God must resist the devil. They've not understood the truth that life and death is in the power of the tongue. So they attract the enemy by speaking death into their situation. Proverbs 18.21 So people are so ignorant that of the, and, and, and they always speak negative then they wonder why negative this happens to them. Not realizing it was because of their words which opened the door to the devil. You see what happened to Job? Job's word opened the door to the devil. Your words open, give the devil access into your life. Your word. Some of us have learned this decades ago and we are so careful so, so we, 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 we've able to have an art of speaking the word of God over our life. And that's why you look at some people like us and others that their life is always going upward and forward and bad things are not happening. You say, but how, because you're a pastor, no, it has nothing to do with being a pastor. It has to do with knowing, understanding how things operate and not working in ignorance. So you have no excuse to allow things to keep going wrong in your life. You don't speak what you see if what you see does not line up with what the Word of God says. I'll say it again. You don't speak what you see if what you see does not line up with what God says. The devil is not after your money. He's not after your house. He's not after your family. He's after your word. He cannot get to your home. He cannot get your finances until he gets your word. It's when you speak the word that lines up with the ideas he places in your mind. He begins to operate in your life. You begin to see things going down the road, them going downward, and you are wondering why is my life not going forward? You, you are the culprit. When I learned that many decades ago, that's it. I never blame the devil anymore. Never blame the devil. Someone told me one time the devil is after you. Is trying to do the devil after me? No. That devil cannot be after me. <laughs> Can it be after me? He cannot be after you. He only comes when you open the door for him to come. So you don't allow him. When he places thoughts in your mind, reject it. Cast it down. All those thoughts, you know, people talk about stronghold. Stronghold is not some, some big, big, building somewhere in the sky where the devil is walking from. No, strongholds are demonically induced patterns of thinking. I'll say it again. Strongholds are demonically induced patterns of thinking. And when you subscribe to that lifestyle, bad things begins to happen in your life. Don't say what you don't desire. No matter how you are tempted to say it. Remember, those ideas is the devil's thoughts. The Bible tells us that the God of this world, the God of this age, has blinded those who do not believe. Lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ would shine on them. That is 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4. So many people are blinded to the truth, even those who are God's children. Jesus said you would, that you would know the truth and the truth you know, will set you free. John 8.31 and 32. So just hearing the truth is not enough. You must act on it in order to be free from bad things. I'll say one more time. Just knowing the truth is not enough. You must act on the truth in order to be free from bad things in your life. Some of you, you know the truth. Are you acting on it? You know the truth. You can quote the Bible inside out, but are you acting on that word. What do you say? What do you think? Remember this. Say one more time. You gravitate towards your most predominant thought. So whatever you are thinking, you are moving in that direction. If you are thinking of peace and joy, you move in that direction. And if you are speaking what you are thinking that is not in line with the word of God, it begins to manifest in your life. The devil can't touch me. He cannot touch you when you understand how these things work. Because, because, because the whole universe is, you know, the, the whole universe is created by God, you know. But you must know that we, as God's children, has been given 
the universe to 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 be in charge of that's right so why it may seem that god may be guilty for a life evil to continue is actually god's mercy that we are being preserved from evil from coming to our life in a in a very hard way god is so merciful to you you know brother you must not allow evil to come to your life don't say the words of the enemy god has come that is to to uh, to give you life and to give you life more abundantly you may say but why has god not stopped all the evil of course god can stop it why has god not stopped all the evil bible says that god is going to wipe away all our pains all our sadness so that it will be so it as if it never happened but why hasn't god stopped all the evil because he's raising a family it is his desire that we his children learn how to stop evil it's important for you to learn how to stop evil you have to learn how to stop evil in your life in your home in your family in your health in your finances in every aspect of life, you must learn how to stop evil because he defeated all evil at the cross and gave you the authority to stop it in his name after jesus defeated evil and the devil completely he left him loose here for a while so we could practice resisting him he said resist the devil and he will flee from you the devil is allowed it's roaming around the bible says the devil is roaming around like a roaring lion looking for whom he may devour that tells me many years ago the devil cannot devour everybody it's looking it's for those who have allowed him to come into their lives with their way of thinking with their way of speaking and with their way of living it gives you entry entrance to the enemy into your life jesus defeated the enemy already if the devil still have any place of influence it's because you and i as a christian have not done our job completely the devil cannot be in your home play your role stop him don't speak his word no matter how things may look like so so why god's long-term plan with exclude all evil from this creation from from this world is allow it to continue for a period of time so you as his child might have opportunity to understand it and overcome it you are to overcome every evil and you are an overcomer you are more than a conqueror now part of the good news of jesus is that he has defeated the devil and has stripped him of all authority over your life now by the grace of god and through the blood of jesus christ you can walk in total freedom and victory all over the devil and, and when you do so nothing shall by enemies hurt you like we read in luke chapter 10 verse 19 nothing shall by enemies hurt you i want to repeat after me i have authority over the enemy come on say it say with me i have the ability to stop bad things from happening to me come on say it say it say it say it, say, it. say i have the ability and the know-how to stop bad things from happening to me from today forward bad things will cease happening in my life it will be only good news come on say it say it. it's all gonna be only good news i'm glad you have heard this word as the lord has given to me to share with you today bad things should not be happening to you anymore if you put this to practice see it is what you put to practice that works for you god's word would work for those that work it god's word would work for those that work it if you work the word it will work for you if you just put to practice a simple nugget you'll be experiencing your best life on earth while others are crying and complaining you'll be speaking joy and peace when others are saying there's a casting down you'll be saying there's a lifting up because you have known how to keep bad things from happening in 
your life. Wow, I pray you've been blessed as I have been. All right, until we see you again tomorrow, I'm actually out of time. Remember, you've been destined to win, and there is nothing devil can do about it. Keep on walking by faith and not by sight. Good things must always happen in your life. That is your destiny. Trust me, I've walked in this. It's possible to go through life all your life only experiencing the goodness of the Lord. No matter what the enemy plans against you, you don't subscribe to it. If you trust in your way some lemons, you make some lemonade. If you put a stumbling block your way, it becomes your stepping stone to the next level. If you if it knocks you down, you keep looking up because if you can look up, you can get up. It's never over until you win, and you've been destined to win, and there is nothing the devil can do about it. All right, I'm out of time. God bless. We'll see you again tomorrow for another edition of Golden Nugget for Supernatural Living. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. <music>